Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Claret's News Daily here on Turfcast. Now before we get started, I just want to say thank you because I know I said in yesterday's show about nominating me for the Football Content Awards I thought maybe I might get five votes, but there was genuinely loads of you in the comments and I know I said I'd say thank you to every single one of you and I I did it first, but then it proper started filling up, so I just put a heart on every single one, please don't feel that it's, I was being insincere, I just didn't want to keep repeating myself and saying yeah thanks mate, thanks for that mate, because it it just didn't feel as as sincere as as what the earlier ones, so I just put a heart on every single one, but genuinely it means a lot to me, so thank you so much to everybody who voted, fingers crossed we get nominated, if we don't, we don't, it is what it is, you're all enjoying the content at the end of the day, that's all that matters i might put a social media post up asking people to vote on facebook or, or, or maybe twitter i've i've not decided yet like i said yesterday but but thank you from the bottom of my heart that everybody who voted yesterday and everybody who said in the comments that they voted thank you so much it means a lot it really really does speaking of the comments yesterday though um i got a bit of stick as well because of the way i was pronouncing liam rosanier the former whole city manager that had just been well has been interviewed today um according to reports um for the burnley job apparently it's rosinia and that makes a lot more sense when i look at how it's spelled and somebody even put in the comments try r o dash senior how easy was that and when you look at how it's spelled obviously that's how it said i have no idea where i got rosanier from genuinely i don't and it's actually helped me with spelling it as well because it's spelled rosinia and the amount of times where i'll come into like do a title and put his name in it i'm like how do you spell it i don't know how to spell it brain fart and then i'd have to google it and then copy and paste it in there but now you broke it down on how to pronounce it rosinia it helps me with spelling it because it's spelled how it said right um, but some of you may or may not know, um, I have another job. I have a few jobs. I'm self-employed, but that's a different story. But one of the jobs that I have is kind of like being a pundit for a betting firm. You may have seen me wearing a sports bet hoodie the other day on the show. We're, we're not sponsored by a sports bet here on Turfcast. That wasn't product placement. That's the company that I sometimes do some bits for. Might not be doing it next year. We'll see. Again, that's a different story. But I have a reputation there, and I'm called by the people that watch it, Joe the Butcher, because I constantly mispronounce names. So I'm surprised of like doing this channel and this podcast for what four years i'm surprised it's taken so long for you all to notice that i can butcher some names um but thank you we will mention rosania sorry not rosania rosania i will make sure to say rosania it might slip out a few times the rosania just like it did then just as a disclaimer but it is what it is at least now i know that it's pronounced rosania and sticking with rosania it's a good job you all told me how to say it because he's the main news again today um alan nixon put out something today um saying that he pulled out of the race for the sunderland job now this is interesting because he had been in talks with Sunderland for the past week, two weeks, and then literally the day after it's broke that he's going to be travelling up to Burnley, well, Manchester, I presume that's where the interviews are, um, Manchester to do the interview for the Burnley job, all of a sudden he pulls out of the Sunderland race. Now, is that him just putting all his eggs in the Burnley basket and, and showing Alan Pace and AOK that he's completely serious about Burnley is he going to go in and, and blow them away in the interview process again all this will come out hopefully in the next few days but it just seems a little bit coincidental to me that he's he's pulled out of the Sunderland job despite being I think he was odds on favourite recently that might be wrong so please so apologies for any anyone who's going to have a go at me in the comments um but it looked like he were going there and even when i put some of the posts over the last couple of days saying rossini is talking to rossini uh, rossini is talking to burnley some of the people were coming out saying nah he's going sunderland he's going sunderland but then he pulls out of it like i said it's all a little bit coincidental i think he's spoken to to alan and aok and and our directors and maybe a couple of them have mentioned that i don't know and he's pulled out of it but it, it seems like he is really going for our job and I don't know, again, he's, he's a, I don't know if I said this yesterday, but he's another one that kind of just doesn't really inspire me too much. But at the same time, I do feel that Burnley could be that step up for him where he then goes on to achieve some of the things he uh, he wants to achieve or some of the things he failed to achieve last season at Hull because he actually had quite a decent squad last season at Hull but still failed to make the playoffs and then, of course, was sacked by them. So that's not a great look, is it? But I actually did speak to a Hull fan today uh, just to get his his thoughts on, on, on I nearly said Rosanier then, uh, on Rosinia. And he said, 
Um, he wants to adopt a similar style to company, uh, just slower and safer. Uh, builds a great relationship with the fans, though, and speaks really, really well. Will be a fantastic ambassador for your club. Uh, I'm gutted it didn't work out for him at Hull, but he's still too young and naive. He just needed to take the shackles off the system and we'd have been there. Uh, so I did say that worries me, though, that last sentence. Uh, and he said, yeah, I'd be surprised if Burnley wanted him. The plus point is the possession-based style would be a continuation from what Vincent Cumber he did but it'd probably be less entertaining obviously referring back to the point he made earlier about it being a similar style but keeping the shackles on uh, and then he said the only reason we didn't make the playoffs last season was because our home form was horrendous 13th in the home form table over the season we were fantastic away from home but he just couldn't bring himself to go all out attack at home we became too easy to set up against, stick a low block on us, and we struggled to create anything. Obviously, then when they're playing away from home, teams attack them, so they'll bait them in and, and then counter-attack them. So it may be good for counter-attacking football, but with a team that we, or what we want to achieve next season and where we want to be, we need to take the games to teams, right? And we're going to have to be that team that takes the takes the the game to the teams like we did in the first year under company like the amount of times that teams had just come and tried low block against us and we just absolutely blew them away the Preston game home is a perfect example Preston camped in their half for the entire game so what did we do we camped in their half as well I just tore them to shreds we had Murich playing as a midfielder for god's sake in that game obviously not literally um but it was on the halfway line and yeah that that worries me the comment from the whole fan but look with what Nixon's saying and, and the stuff all the other reporters said that I said yesterday about Rossinia being interviewed, I think it looks like he's going all out for this for this job and our job. And if he comes in, like I said about Lampard, he will get my 100% back in. I 100% promise I, I will personally give him the time and patience. But them comments from the whole fan worry me that it's a similar style to VK, but more patient and a little bit more reserved I think we got a bit frustrated with how reserved the VK system was sometimes so we'll see we'll see if he gets a job but I'm not overly enthused by it at this stage next up is everyone's favourite Dutchman Wout Vegos now big shout out to G Catlow in the comments who did make me aware of this obviously we did report I say we it was we picked up a report from The Telegraph which is a Dutch newspaper about five or six days ago that I Ajax were looking at Wout Veghurst and obviously we didn't put it in the videos because it was like I said five or six days ago and we only started doing these videos three days ago but Ajax were looking at him and I think the quote that they used was they were knocking down the door um, to get Wout Veghurst at their club now a lot of Burnley fans reacted to that by saying no need to knock lads doors open which I found quite funny um, so shout out to Graham for that but I did look into it and it turns out that the Burnley Express actually did an article on Valt Vegos today and the interest that he's generating. Now, it's not just Ajax, apparently, that are looking at him. It's FC20 as well. Now, according to the Berlin Express, like I said, FC20 are looking at Valt Vegos as he's currently preparing for Euro 2024. Um, and apparently the FC20 chief is relaxed about Vag uh, about the Vego speculation uh, because he's also been linked with Ajax, as I've said. So he's relaxed about the Ajax speculation and he still obviously feels that FC20 could get it over the line. The Berlin Express obviously went into some quotes that the FC20 chief has said and he said... I also hear all the rumours and speculation, but we don't let ourselves be fooled and we don't worry about it. Uh, and he was talking to the Dutch outlet, Tubanchia? I've definitely butchered that, 100%. And if someone's in the comments telling me how to pronounce that, then nah, I'm sorry. You, you, unless you're a fluent Dutch speaker, um, then I doubt that. Um, but he goes on to say, to be honest, I am super relaxed about it. We still have very good contact with Valt and his agent. The situation is still unchanged. Veghorst has still only twin, uh, the Berlin Express go on to say this, Veghorst has still only made 20 appearances for the Clarice Spats signing for the club two and a half years ago. The former Wolfsburg front, front man who made the the move to Turf Moor for a 12, 12 million quid we spent on him. 12 million pound fee. Also spent time out alone with Besiktas and Manchester United last season. Nobody's going to shed a tear about Valt leaving. I think it's good that we get him rid now. We're obviously not going to make back that 12 million, um, but we need to get rid of him now. He's got one year left on his contract, which obviously means that he'll be leaving for free in the summer because there's no chance in hell um, that we sign 
Valt Vegos again to a contract uh, extension either this summer or next summer unless the only hope for him is that a Dutch manager comes in and for whatever reason you know even though he seems to hate Burnley Football Club and not want to play for us that this Dutch manager gives him sort of like the re- a reason to stay essentially, and and then he wants to say, say for example we get rude. I'm not saying we will. I'm not saying there's any suggestion to su- suggest that we will from journalists at this stage. But say we get rude, for example, and rude says, hey, look, we can you know do this together. The Dutch Revolution at Turf Moor. Then he could come in, do well in the Championship, sign an extension in January, and then go on and sail off into the Premier League together. But how unlikely does that sound? Incredibly. So yeah. Let him go. If we get six million for him, happy days. I don't think the Dutch clubs have as much money as uh, as as the Premier League clubs, obviously. So we probably won't get too much money money back for him. But if we could get fifty percent back for him, I'd I'd bite their hand off at this stage. Out of contract in the summer, done absolutely nothing for us. Has made it perfectly clear that he doesn't want to play for us anymore on several occasions. So yeah, for me. Just go. I don't care whether he goes to FC20, Ajax or down under in Australia or even in the Antarctic League, if that's even a thing. Definitely isn't. Um, but yeah, just get rid of him. Just go. Just end this nightmare now because nobody's enjoyed it. Absolutely nobody. Uh, but that's it. There's not much out there today, unfortunately. Um, fingers crossed we get more tomorrow. Um, but I've managed to pad it out quite well, to be fair. I'm good at waffling. Uh, I'm good at waffling. Um, again, I'll put the description for the nomination for the Football Content Awards in the dis- uh, in the description. I'll put the link in the description like I just said and uh, if you want to vote vote if not if you've already done it perfect thank you so much but um, yeah we'll be back tomorrow for another one apologies there weren't too much news in this one but it, it's been quietening down a little bit today but obviously that's because the club have been conducting the interviews so fingers crossed we start getting some news about that over the next couple of days and one more thing before I do wrap it up where's all these friendlies like I've had to book shifts at work now in July so I 100% know that if this Hoffenheim friendly is confirmed which I'm expecting it to be to be fair just not in Hoffenheim then I'll probably have a shift booked at work and I'll have to cancel it and annoy my bosses or I'll just have to miss the game and if we get any more friendlies at good grounds and I have to miss them I'll be fuming now I know the club have got a lot on but come on can we get some friendlies announced I want to know where I'm going and I'm sure the rest of the fans do like some of us you know we have jobs we're self-employed we have kids we can't just go on a whim at the last minute I know a lot of lads and lasses will be able to but some of us can't so please get some friendlies but yeah we'll see you tomorrow for another show